Thank you. So uh, they, they told us you got like three to five minutes to be up here, which is not enough time to do either of the two things I want to do. One, one, I figure in that period of time I can give thanks, and two, I want to tell a story. I love telling stories, so I want to get to that. In thanks very quickly, you know, my family, I just have nothing but love sitting at the table, my parents, my cousins, my other parents, Dwayne and Kathy Smiley. Uh, to my teammates, uh, I'm just humbled that you showed up and, and, and are here with me tonight. You guys are truly my brothers. I, I, I've enjoyed two unbelievable brotherhoods in my life, the SEAL teams and, and you guys, and I, I rank them even. I, I'm, I'm humbled you're here. To my coaches who are, are here as well, uh, my deepest respect. I can't believe you took a shot on me, and uh, it paid off. I hope, I hope for both of us. And then uh, to the university and, and the club, I, I so appreciate you having me and, and um, making the crazy decision to give me the award. Uh, I, I played here in the era of, of Roy Simmons Jr., literally a, a legend. I don't, I don't offer that up easily, but it's, it's absolutely true when it comes to this coach. The funny thing about playing for Coach Simmons when I was here is in, in four years of playing lacrosse from him, I would learned not a single thing about the game of lacrosse. I don't remember him teaching me anything about lacrosse. I don't remember him teaching any of us about lacrosse. His assistant coach did that, and I learned that from the other players. But what, what he taught us was, was far more valuable. And it was uh, these, these long stories, I mean, sometimes stories where we look at each other and be like, he has lost it this time. We ain't getting out of this one. But uh, there'd be a punchline and some gift, like having a disdain for mediocrity or being unpredictable or, or taking care of one another and just believing in the ability to win. I, 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 I fundamentally believe we won those championships because of our belief that we could do so, not, not so much the talent on the field, although that was, that was ample. So I want to share a story that kind of gets to him and at least something that, that I'll, I'll never forget, certainly. When, it, when I came here, I, I came from California, and that, 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 that really hadn't happened before. And, and I'd only played lacrosse for three years. I, I'd only picked up a stick three years before. And it's appropriate for me to say that my mom bought me that first stick, taught me to pick up a ball, cradle, and throw a ball. So I appreciate you getting me that stick, for sure. But when I, when I showed up, I, I, I could tell right away that um, I did not have enough experience to play here. I mean, I, I just, most of the guys that played here had been playing since third grade, and I'd only played three years. And so I, I just knew that I, I didn't have enough experience to, to really uh, make an immediate impact. But the, but the one thing I figured I could control was effort. So I've always loved to suffer. I mean, physical suffering is like one of my favorite things. So I figured, all right, well, this is, this I can do. And Coach Simmons ran mythic preseason sprint drills. I mean, to the point of you thought he'd lost his mind, we'd go so hard. And these, these really appealed to me. They, they, they were the place I felt like I was most comfortable because that's, that just comes from somewhere deep, in, deep inside how hard you want to go. And everybody went hard. I mean, he recruited nothing but thoroughbreds to play at this team. But I'd, I'd say, I hope my teammates w would, would back me on this, but I'd say in the first five sprints of any session, you had an opportunity of coming across the line at the same time as me. In the last five sprints of the practice, you didn't have a good shot at that because I just was going to go as hard as I could humanly go. That's just kind of in my DNA, and that, that came from my parents and, and was something that was important to me. So I, I really went through my entire fall and spring preseason sprints knowing that I had basically won them all or been there at the line every time in the sprints. I took a lot of pride in that. Our first season of my freshman year was down in North Carolina against the, the Tar Heels. We were the number one ranked team in the country, and they were the number two ranked team in the country. And so we're down there for the day before the game, and you do a little pregame practice. And I'd never been in a pregame practice my first time suiting up, but we were not paying attention, and we weren't taking the practice serious, and that, that upset coach. And so he said, everybody on the end line, let's start running. So we start running. And I think everybody thought for sure it ended in about five minutes. There's no way we're playing the number two team in the country. This counts towards the championship. This is going to end very quickly. And about 15 minutes in, I think people couldn't believe what was happening. And I don't know when we got to this finish line, but it was staggering how hard we were running. And they did something he never did before. He said, all right, this is what we're going to do. Everybody on the end line. And they explained to us, he said, I'm going to go back to the 50-yard line, and this is what we're going to do. Every time I blow the whistle, we're going to run in one big wave. The first two men across the line are done. You get across the line first, you don't have to do any more sprints. And I don't even want you to stay out here, just go to the locker room. So there's 32 guys around that for, for, uh, for travel teams, so you can, you can do the math on how many sprints we're going to do. And now, bear in mind, every sprint, certainly at the end of a practice, I had been there right at the end. And I ended up in the last four. And it bothered me. 
it, it bothered me a lot because I, I ran hard no matter what. And I, I remember I'm in the last four. He blows a list, whistle. I come shooting across the line. I ran through the line because I always did. And I did something I'd never done before. I took my helmet off. I was so upset. I was just mad about being out there still. I threw my helmet down. And as soon as it left my hand, I knew I'd made a mistake. I just felt like an idiot. It's like when a golfer throws a club. I mean, you just look like a prize pig, right? And so as soon as it left my hand, I was like, oh, I can't believe I did it. I grabbed it as quick as I can. I go to put it back on. And as I turn around, I, I thought for sure if Coach saw it, I was a dead man. Not only did he see it, I turn around, and he is standing face to face with me. Coach's nickname is Slugger, and this was not earned by chance. So I don't think any of us, even in our prime, wanted to tangle with Coach and I just knew I'd made an egregious mistake. And I honestly thought from throwing this helmet down, I might not be playing for Syracuse anymore. But Co Coach put his hand on my shoulder. I, I don't know if you'll remember this, Coach, but I remember it like it was yesterday. And I, I got a big heart raft, too, so I'll get emotional thinking about it. But uh, he put his hand on my shoulder. He's like, Rourke, don't think for a second. I don't know that you run hard every time I blow the whistle, no matter what it's worth. That's just who you are. He said, so... I know it didn't work out today, but I'm telling you right now, you run this hard in life, no one is going to catch you. No one's going to catch you. And I can say I brought that to the game, but something about you telling me that, Coach, in that moment has stuck with me. And if I'm in this uniform and it's worked out and I avoided enemy bullets and all that good stuff, it's because I never stopped running hard. So I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And... Uh, I so appreciate the time. I'm, I'm honored to be amongst all the other uh, letter winners and, uh, and go Orange. Thanks so much.